welcome back to my channel. So I have the seven couples that are going to be on the next season of Life After Lockup. It's going to be starting sometime around August, September, towards the end of summer, beginning of fall, right after the season of Mama June ends. And so all the cast members that are going to be on this new season, they recently were in LA doing media and photo shoots for the new season. And I've been hearing rumors about who's going to be on the season left and right, but I didn't want to talk about it until I had it actually confirmed. And I finally had a few sources confirm with me the new cast. So we have a few returning couples from this last season that just ended. The first couple that's going to be coming back is Brainwin and Chaz. The only updates I really have on the two of them since their season ended... They're still together, and last I heard, they were still living apart in two completely different states, but it was coming right close to that time where she was going to be moving to Chaz's house with him, and they are going to be living together, and so I don't know if we're going to see her actually staying with Chaz or them just having a long-distance relationship in this season because they've already wrapped up filming, and last I heard, they still were not living together. The next couple that we have that's returned from last season is Taylor and Chance. I don't really have any updates on them. They're still together. It appears that their sister Bobby is still living with them from pictures I've seen on Instagram. And then we have Kevin and Tiffany are also coming back as well. Which, you know, the only updates I really have on them is, you know, they said at the end of the season they wanted to find another girl to add to their relationship. And they followed through with what they said they were going to do because they were spotted on Tinder trying to find another girl. But that's the only updates I have on them. Last I heard, they're still together. Okay, so returning cast members from previous season, we have Sean and Sarah. So a lot has happened with this couple since we last seen them on the show. We saw Sean propose to Sarah and Sarah revealed that she was pregnant. And they have a lot of updates since they last filmed. So Sarah and Sean ended up getting married in August. I have a full video with more details if you want to go back and check it out. I'll try to remember to leave it linked in the description. But yeah, Sarah and Sean got married in August right after they were done filming the last season. And I wouldn't be surprised if they just continued filming on and went ahead and filmed the wedding as well. And you know, Sarah, she ended up having the baby. So I'm sure we're going to see Sarah giving birth and see how parent life and married life works out for the two. So I'm looking forward to that because they have a lot of updates. And plus, Destiny's gotten out of jail since their last season. And I wonder if she's going to try to come crawling back to Sean or hitting him up for some money. And a crazy random fact, Destiny's currently pregnant, and I found out this girl has the same exact due date as me. <laughs> but, okay, so the next couple we have is Amber and Puppy. I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm kind of tired. I feel like they've beaten this one with a dead horse enough. Like, they kind of dragged the storyline out way longer than it should. We don't really have any updates on Puppy Amber. She's got into this big MLM called Arbon, and she's been doing quite well with it. She's been going on all these trips to the Bahamas and all these other places. MLM stands for multi-level marketing, and a lot of people consider MLMs pyramid schemes. But Amber's even came out and said on her Instagram that this is not a pyramid scheme. And it's like, if that's going to be like the first thing you tell someone when you tell someone about this company, I just think that's kind of sus. And this company that Amber is a part of has been sued multiple times. There's been countless lawsuits put against it and even one lawsuit was for someone claiming that it was a pyramid scheme. Usually the only people that make money in MLMs are people who get in early or who are on the top line or people who are in Amber's position. They have followers and they have people just wanting to try these products because they want to be connected to the person selling them in one way or another and I think that's why Amber has been doing so well with this. And so our next couple that we have is Lindsay and Deontay which a lot of us already knew that. I announced on my channel a long time ago when I first found out they were originally talking and then we found out from the New Year's Eve special they announced their whole little relationship. There's been a lot that's happened with this couple as well. I'm looking forward to see how this storyline has played out because last I knew they weren't together anymore because she got caught kissing all up on her ex at a baseball game. And last I heard her and Deontay were no longer an item. He had moved on and got a new girl as well. So I already know their storyline is going to be jam-packed with tons of drama. And so our last couple we're going to have 
is this should be no surprise to anyone Brittany and Marcelino you know I kind of feel like what I said about Amber and Puppy I feel like they're kind of beating this one with the dead horse and this storyline was kind of over with like a season or two ago I'm not sure how much more we can follow with them like of course I love Brittany and Marcelino so much but it just seems like this last season it seemed like a lot of their stuff seems scripted and I don't know how I feel about them but I know that they got to bring back like at least one success story because if it's all bad relationships that don't work out nobody's gonna want to date an inmate ever again they have to have people like this to give other people hope like hey this is what it can be and I really don't have much updates on these two since they last filmed. They've been living the family life, doing some traveling. She's still working as a realtor. And last I heard, she was working on writing her second book. And I read her first book and did a review on it. And it's super great. So I'm looking forward to her next book when she does publish it. So let me know what you guys think about the seven returning couples for the next season of Life After Lockup. Also, I wanted to update you guys. John is out of jail. He got out of jail about a week ago and he posted this on his Instagram new rims and getting all new parts on soon all you hatters that talk bad about me just give me motivation so thank you for all the inspiration I think he meant haters but he spelled it hatters and also I was just being nosy and I looked up John seeing if he had any more criminal records and I came across this judgment for March 2016 and he had to pay $1,853.39 for a child support judgment. And this was really shocking to me because I don't ever remember hearing about John having a kid during his seasons of love or life after lockup. But I guess he probably didn't mention the kid because it doesn't really sound like he's really too much in that child's life. But John is officially out of jail. He got time served for his charges and he's a free man once again. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts about all that and what you guys think about this cast for the new season of Life After Lockup. I just cannot wait for this next season. I think it's going to be a really good season. Something to definitely look forward to. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.